two and one. But speak thou the things which become its sound doctrine, that the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior, as become it holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed, chaste conversation. to the most high welcome back to chase conversations <laughs> we are back once again y'all we have part two of the mother matters okay if you didn't watch part one sure. <laughs> please go see that one the mother matters we were talking um last week about um the mother is wisdom right the mother is the comforter, the healer, the, the you know, um, and so we wanted to dive in at more into the physical aspect of the mother matters this week, more so. So again, last week, um, you know, if you if you don't have the mother meaning this word, if you're not seeking his face, right, and doing what scripture says um we we read off in um last week have no other gods before me um you know wisdom cries out she's calling you back into her right calling you back to her so she can clean you up and bring you back to the most high okay um some of us ignore that call some of us realize that yeah she she's right let me go back cuz i'm out here wilding okay i ain't got no guidance okay that's why i can't see the father because we don't have the mother you can't see the father without the mother right you can't see the mother without the father <laughs> okay the two gotta be they hand in hand opposite to the most high so this is deuteronomy 22 verse 9 thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. Defiled. I shall not sow, okay, thy vineyard with diverse seeds. Mm. What does diverse mean? I have the, de the definition, sis. Okay, come on, bring it up. And this is coming from the Oxford dictionary it says of varying types several many numerous there's another definition Sorry. that says unequal mm. various um I love that and there's Francis Sachaya I see you Kind, um, I think I saw something similar to what Sis Sheila May was saying. Um, and I like looking at the origin of words because it just starts to interest me a lot. But so the origin of diverse, because we spell it with the E at the end, um, it originated with it with it without the E. So it's coming from like French and Latin, meaning to separate ways. Um another word is like divert. So something is just different or separate okay time so there we go we have the meaning of diverse so thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with different kinds of seed two seeds that don't match <laughs> two seeds that don't belong together okay all right um because you see how today they'll what they're doing today they're splicing seeds they're splicing seeds y'all and making fruits bear when they ain't supposed to bear or making two fruits, put them together and, you know, calling it something else. This is Leviticus 
chapter 19, verse 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shall not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shall not sow thy field with mingling seed, mingled seeds, Lakia. Neither shall a garment mingle of linen and woolen come upon thee. Okay. So we're back to the basics, yeah. Okay. Mm. We back to the basics, breaking it down, okay? Mm. Because the most high said, don't splice, don't dice, don't mix it. It's pure the way I had it. It's good, it's strong, it's gonna populate and just yes, and, 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 and we've just read Leviticus 19:19. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with diverse kind, right? Okay. So, and cattle meaning your animals, okay? Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna get into, people like to call, if I'm using the right word, semantics, and say, oh, it just says cattle. That means I could mix my horses or my dogs, you know? I could mix a poodle with a, a pit bull. What, what, kind of, what kind of offspring you gonna get from that, you know? So you have this one, you have this one, um, we are called a horse. They call it purebred or any animal. It's a purebred. Can you really call it a purebred if you breed it with a different kind? Can you? I might be wrong. <laughs> you can't. It's not, it's no longer pure. You done mess up the whole lineage. <laughs> <laughs> you done mess it up. You know, so do not mix. And this is his, this is his orders. This is his laws. Okay. So if he don't want it, it goes in to say, don't mix your seed. Don't mix your animals together. Okay. Don't mix the, the, the what is it? The tiger and the lion together and call it a liger. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if they don't even mix your your the lip the lip the, the the garments on your body mm -hmm. a lot of us that's hard because it's hard to find these days but it is mm -hmm. in here you know we we, uh -huh. we do have yeah it is in here that you know we do our best make sure that we have this the the one kind of linen uh fabric on our bodies you know and another reason for that too not to get off topic is because once you start getting into them um fabric like spandex Mm -hmm. You know, spandex is you, you. You don't just have the some mix have mixing with spandex. That mean it form fit into your body. You know mm -hmm. all these other things. But um, if the Most High don't even want you to mix your apple seeds with pear seeds, or He mm -hmm. don't want you to mix, okay, your your cattle, your animals with other diverse kinds and have a uh, unclean offspring. What you think he's saying about you? Uh. What you think he's saying? But you think he's gonna say, "Don't mix your seeds. Don't mix your animals. Don't even mix your clothes." But you can mm. go on ahead and mix with these other nations. How does you, you huh? mm. right, right? So yeah. that's what we diving into, y'all. That's what we dive into. So, yeah. Anybody had anything else? Well, I was just gonna. I was just gonna say that's where a lot of us are. At least in America, sometimes we we forget that because so many people have um, interracial families or yeah, interracial families. A lot of the times, they think that the hue change is because of that mingled seed, not necessarily from one or the other. So. We're not going to get into necessarily what the what scripture says about how you're supposed to identify your lineage or your inheritance as far as like mother or father. But some people I know will say like in family reunions, such and such is light skin because they got white people in their family, you know, so-called white people. So it's one of those things where, no, you're that may be true, but your hue, your complexion is not because it was mixed with a recessive gene or another nation who might have had lighter, lighter skin than you. It's not always because of that. And it's not the only reason that is you could literally 
be in a family that has different hues. Now, if you've, if you've seen people with just one hue, that's just what they have. They just have dominant slash recessive dominant genes like that just keeps it going. But there's a lot of us who have different hues in our families and it's not always because of that but it's kind of hard to justify that when you're in America mm-hmm. I guess majority of us are thinking we're the only ones here who was pretty much raped and pillaged so the other races kind of maybe found a way to not get diverse like us mm. so Shannon, may I see you you got it I wanted to do a precept to Leviticus 19:19 where it says, you shall keep my statutes. That's the first statement. And I'm going to 1 John chapter 3, verse 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Uh, you want on point, sis, because that's a precept I was looking for earlier. <laughs> All oh, praises. Oh, praises. Exactly. And uh, also, Sister Chaya, I'm glad you brought that up, although that's, you know, no need to dive dive into that with this topic tonight. But yeah, I mean, we don't want to be ignorant um, in um, assuming anybody's nationality because of face value, because of, you know, appearance or anything like that. And we do know, I mean, we would be ignorant to the fact to think that, okay, we don't have many different hues and hints you know when it comes to our people okay he say it's not our people like a speckled bird you know so um but again we're just diving into the fact that you know whether or not you dibbled and dabbled before that it don't matter the the point is okay once you come into the knowledge of the truth and know who you are okay you know that the most I say, do not mix yourselves in with the other nations, keep yourselves pure, okay? There's plenty of precepts and we only gonna bring out a few tonight. Judges chapter three, verses five through seven. And the children of Israel dwelt among the Canaanites, Hittites and Amorites and Perizzites and Hivites and Jebusites, verse six. And they took their daughters to be their wives and gave their daughters to their sons and served their gods. Seven. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh, forgot Yahweh their power and served Baalim and the groves. Mm. But yeah, so so basically we are we're among we're among another nation, and then they took daughters to be their wives. Okay, so when you took mm-hmm. some take somebody to be your wife, right? And you have offspring now, okay, and then not of your seed, <laughs> your your lineage, okay, that's diverse, all right. So any offspring from that, right? Okay, is not confused. There's not confusion, um, and we could see that. And, the, and then the, and then the Most High said the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Most High because they did this. Okay. So now the 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 mother the mother is now of a of a diverse kind. That seed is of a diverse kind now. This is Nehemiah chapter thirteen, verse twenty three to twenty six, verse twenty three. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashad, of Ammon, and of Moab. 24. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashad and Hashdod, uh, Salakia, and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. And I contended with them and cursed them and smote certain of them and plucked off their hair and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons or for yourselves. 26. Mm Mm-hmm. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? 
Yet among many nations was there no king like him who was beloved of his God and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Cause to sin. And I wanted to bring in 26 too, because again, the book says to, you know, let the, right. Um, it, uh, I wanted to make sure I include in 26, because again, you know, the women teach the women, the women teach the younger ones, right? Our younger ones include our young ladies, our young men, our sons and our daughters, right? And we're going to cut all the fat when, you know, my son wants to think, well, oh, okay, I'm, you know, I'm good. I'm Israel. So why not, you know, plant my seed in a vineyard over there in China? You know? Mm. No, sir. Okay. Uh, that's your seed. <laughs> okay. Because it, it, it's spiritual and physical. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going, they're going to have you going. Oh, they got, you have two different things going on. Okay. Um, he said he saw these Jews that married wives of Ashdod and Ammon and Moab. And now you got the children them speaking this language and that, that language. And they, they ain't, now you're causing confusion. They ain't good enough for this side. They ain't dark enough for that side or whatever it is. Yeah, we ain't going down that <laughs> rabbit hole. But this is where he says, just keep it real. Keep it a hundred. Keep it pure. Mm -hmm. Keep it in your lineage. Keep it one seed. Don't mix. Mm -hmm. You know? And we go back to the diverse seed. We see the crap they feeding us out here when they mix this and mix that. And is it real? And does it have seed or not? Is it supposed to? Because they're mixing and doing all these mingle things. Mm -hmm. Okay. He said, don't do that. All right. He contended with them and cursed them and smote certain of them fluffed off their hair and made them swear by God saying, you shall not give your daughters unto their sons nor take their daughters unto your sons for yourselves. The mother matters. The mother of my grandchildren them matter. Sorry, but not sorry. You got to come up in here and bring me a pure grandbaby. Okay. That's just what the most I say. Deuteronomy 7 verse 1 When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Gergesites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But this is five. But thus shall ye deal with them ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire but basically that's what it's saying you know he's he already said that we are not to uh uh commingle or to uh come together and and yeah join together with other nations right that you were right in that word mingle. That's what diverse mean, mingle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, don't ming don't mingle that seed. Uh spiritually and physical physically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um mm -hmm. because again, we're gonna have an agon precept with that. Um Exodus 34, verse 15. Okay. Uh let's see. Yeah, 14, uh, 15 and 16, it says. Let's thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. Okay. Yeah, let's kumbaya. We want to see hand in hand together, you know. Um, and and they go whoring after other gods. There we go straight away from our mother now, right? Mm. Straight away from the most high, right? And do sacrifice to their gods 
and one called thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice, and thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, and their and their daughters go whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go whoring after other gods. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Our praise says. Okay. The most I do not play around. It is an abomination. Um he does not take too kindly with his seed mixing diverse with any other one. Try I see you got it. Khan, I was just basically um as we was reading it again, the the word mingle, it's not like this is one of those words like you just mentioned as far as the the strength, the emphasis, the importance and the value of it. <laughs> it's not mingled should as far as these precepts that we're bringing out right now mingled is something that you put right next to abomination something that you put next to profane something you put next to unclean something you put it's basically forbidden like you're not supposed to so it's a word when you hear you shall not mix you know mix seed when you're in your field garments as well as your cattle it is a, a forbidden thing now the word mingled itself depending on what it is it may not always be something of that high level of a sin or breaking of the law but it's something we should probably remember and and almost kind of adjust our thought process because nowadays we hear mingle we use it for we we use mingled as like sprinkle i'm about to just mingle some seasoning on the on the food and, and sometimes we we there's dang someone help me because there's a scripture i'm thinking of right now we basically it's basically saying something like we take we take light of the word when we shouldn't yeah. take light of yeah yeah, we we I'm out here mingling with my friends. Nine times out of ten, you mingling with the wrong friend. That's what you're mm. mingling, <laughs> right? Because in the truth, now we don't say mingling. We out here gathering. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Like, switched it up. We mingling. <laughs> <laughs> we go Ezra chapter nine verse one. Now, when these things were done, the princes came to me saying. The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed oh. has mingled. Oh, say, say that please. again. The holy one. Oh, oh, oh. Verse two. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed. The holy what? Seed. What do you call us? What kind of seed? Holy. Holy. Kodash. Holy. Have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Oh. Yeah, the hand of the princes and rulers had been chief in this trespass. Oh, Ooh, the most oh, chief. chief. You want me to read that again, sis? Uno oh. más. <laughs> yeah. My colonizer's language, right? For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yeah, the hand of the princess. And rulers have been chief in this trespass. See that? So we went from being holy. What's the opposite of being holy? <laughs> okay. You go and mix yourself in and mingle yourself in with diverse kinds, diverse nations. You're the opposite of holy. Ooh. Which mm. is an abomination. We figured uh -huh. that out at the beginning of this, right? Uh -huh. mm. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and um, you know, it's it's not a light thing. It's not a light thing. 
if people mm -hmm. ask the question, I'm gonna bring it out. I, I don't know. Just bring it. People gonna ask the question. The Most High gonna uh, send me to a dark place because I like uh, other nations. You blasted Skippy. This is this is his word. This mm. is his word. Mm. Anybody disagree? La -a. Mm, la -a. This is his word. He said, "Don't even mix the uh, a green apple with a red apple." He mm. said, "Don't mix a like don't mix a, a donkey and a and a horse." Mm. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You know, don't mix. You know, cotton and polyester. Don't mix linen and wool. What make you think it's okay for you to go and hop across the fence? Let me let me add another precept just really quick because okay. the last two we just did, we keep mentioning these particular nations. And so it goes back to two two or three stories in, in Genesis. But one I'm going to bring out is Genesis chapter 34. And I'm going to skip around through it a little bit. So I'll start at one so we'll know what we're talking about. And then I'll skip around and let you know where I'm at. So Genesis chapter 34, verse one. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare <clears throat> unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. Verse two. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. Verse three. And his soul clave unto Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel and spake kindly to the damsel. So skipping all the way down <clears throat> to verse seven. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it and the men were grieved and they were very wroth because he had wrought folly in Israel and lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. Mm. So I'll stop at verse seven because this whole chapter mm. goes on to say what happens. But prior to that in Genesis, it does, or excuse me, I believe in Deuteronomy, it talks about how you should, if you lie with the woman, she shall be your wife or, you know, it goes into kind of a couple of different rules when you just lay with a damsel, if she's betrothed or not mm -hmm. betrothed. Mm -hmm. And those are laws for us. But in this particular case, Shechem is the son of Hamor and Hamor is a Hivite. So you got a Hivite, they're they're traveling in this land, this land of Canaan, and they're coming across these nations. And this is one of the reasons why Abraham dealt with his wife. Um, Sarah, Isaac dealt with Rebecca a little bit in similar fashions, but those situations never made it to this point. So Dinah, in a sense, in this story for me, is almost the person that actually took the worst hit. The other ones came close but Yahweh spoke to the those okay. those kings and made sure that didn't happen but this time yeah. it happened to one yeah. of Jacob's children yeah so Ezra chapter 10 verses 10 through 11 verse 10 and Ezra the priest stood up and said to them you have transgressed and have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel verse 11 now, therefore, make a confession to Yahweh your power of your fathers and do his pleasure and separate yourselves from the people of the land and from the strange wives. So let your guys come out. You guys separate. Mm -hmm. You can't, the, the holy can't be with unholy. The, di the dark can't be with the lightness. The unclean can't be with the clean. Mm. We have to separate ourselves. It's not okay, sisters, for us to mix and mingle your pure blood, your pure bread, your holy seed, okay, your holy womb, and defile it. It is not okay. It's not okay. Okay? Just think about it. If you put a, a tarnished seed, an actual seed, if you put a tarnished seed, tarnish. Something wrong with it. And you know something wrong with it. Or maybe you don't know. But it's a tarnished seed. And you put it in the ground and cover it up with dirt. What you expect to come out of it? It's going to be hard to get anything out of it. And when something come out of it, it probably look decrepit. That's worse than a wheat and a tear. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. That's worse. 
And the worst, the worst thing is you do we're doing it knowingly. And the blood is off of our hands because we out here prophesying, we out here in the wind. We putting these videos are out here for you, sis. For you. So when you scroll by, you know, or you just brush off the fact that the mother is calling you back to the most high. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you say she don't matter, that's mm -hmm. blaspheming at the end of the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yes, yes, the most high will punish us if we out here mixing ourselves, if we out here calling on a on a different God, if we out here not, we don't have this, we can't we can't get close to God because we out here mixing and mingling in other deities and other religions and other worship. Okay, we far from having the mother, which is this Holy Spirit, which is wisdom. You're far from it. Right? So how can you be close to the father when you don't even have the mother? To guide you back to him. What you talking about? You have the Holy Ghost. What Holy Ghost? You have a you have the, the Holy Spirit. You have a spirit, but then a Holy Spirit. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. This is Ezra chapter 9, verse 10. And now, O our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments, which thou hast commanded by thy servants, the prophets, saying, the land unto which ye go to possess it. It is an unclean land with the filthiness of the people of the lands with their abominations, which have filled it from one end to another with their uncleanliness. So now therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth forever, forever that ye may be strong and eat the good of the land and leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that, that ye may be strong. Mm. How strong can we be if we're mixing our holy seed? You take it, taking it and watering it down. Mm. You know? How strong can you be? I pray this to the most high. Yeah. And I, I uh, listen, the pagans, them, and the heathens, <laughs> them, <laughs> them, them, you know, they, 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 in order to tell a lie, you have to know what? The truth. You have to know the truth. Okay. They want to keep us far from the mother, far from the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they have up there, you know, they put everything in your face, but then they put a bunch of paganity on top of it, right? Mm -hmm. And put, put what, Mother Mary, what's your name? Mary? Oh. In the oh, church? Oh, oh, oh. Right, they put right, the mother right. up there and say you must worship mm -hmm. the mother and stuff. Making us, but you see how they're doing that? Mm -hmm. Egyptology, mm -hmm. Egyptology does something similar too, you know, yep. worshiping the womb or the mother, whatever they call her. God yeah. is whatever. Mm -hmm. but they bring it down yes. to a paganic level <laughs> okay yeah but the yep. mother the what mother we know who the mother is now because we don't have blinders on and that deity standing up in the church made with hands you know what i'm saying all presence to the most high the mother she matters right. till next time <laughs> same place same beauty Is our duty. That's I'm gonna assign somebody to sing this one out. <laughs> you get it? It was a delay. It was a delay. I, I, it was a delay. All praises to the Most High. Shalom, y'all.